As many of you know, I am running for mayor of Toronto. Uh, I've been running for quite a while. You know, the official uh, election, I believe, is taking place in October, if I'm not mistaken. So for, if for some reason you've been hiding under a rock and you didn't know I was running for mayor of Toronto, I am, and I would like to share with our viewers and, and new people who are not aware, uh, some of my great ideas, which I'm sure will catapult me into being elected for the next mayor of Toronto. And so without further ado, let's just get into some of my great ideas for mayor, and hopefully I'll win some of your votes along the way. Thank you so much. So first of all, uh, many years ago in Toronto, we had a garbage strike and with a garbage strike, everything, it smells really bad. Well, if you've walked around the city, you know about things smelling bad, but here's my solution to dealing with, with the garbage problem, folks. So for waste disposal, what you're gonna do is get a load of this. You're going to drive your own garbage to the dump, okay? So let the garbage men take their strike. You're gonna take your own garbage to the dump and if you don't have a working car, you must rent a Uber, van, or truck for them to transport the garbage. Now, if you can't afford an Uber, van, or truck, you must put the garbage in your neighbor's garage, okay? So you put it in your neighbor's garage and put a post-it note on the garbage that says, tag your it, and your neighbor must take the garbage that you left there to the dump. So they have to take their garbage and your garbage. Now, something to mention, if your neighbor is like you, very limited and is not able to take the garbage to the dump, then they will be forced to place a sign on their lawn that says, this place is a dump. So unless you want your house to say this is a dump, you better take your, your neighbor's trash to the dump. Tag your, that's right, what could possibly go wrong? Correct. Next, let's talk a little bit about a hot topic, and it's deportations. Our friends of the South are very insistent on uh, deporting Mexicans. And what harm are Mexicans doing to the country, aside from serving wonderful taco dishes and cleaning your lawn? No, we're not going to be deporting Mexicans. We're going to be deporting all vegetarians. So if they're a, a, a vegetarian Mexican, then they're a Mexitarian, then they will be deported. Um, now, the reason why we're going to be deporting vegetarians is because they're negatively affecting the sale of meats. Okay, now in order to stimulate the economy, we need to stimulate our meats in this city, folks. Alright, so as, as Bart Simpson once said, you don't make friends with salad. So, you know, if you're, if you're a vegetarian, you're going to be kicked, kicked out of the country. Now, people ask me, uh, Michael Ferber, aren't you worried about losing all the vegetarian votes? To which I say no, because that's only three votes. Because there's only three vegetarians in the entire city. Because the word vegetarian is derived from the Latin word, which is Vegemite, which means crazy person. Because if you're a vegetarian, you are crazy, and thus you will be deported. Folks, I got lots of these ideas that I paid someone to write down. I mean, I, I wrote down myself. And we're just going to see how many how many more votes we can get uh, for me for mayor. So for crime, you know, I'm just not a, a nilly willy okay with people breaking the law and running around the city with their meat dangling out of their pants. No, I'm strict on law, very strict. All right, I'm tough on crime. All crimes will be considered equal and will result in the criminal being forced into prostitution. All right, so you're going to think twice about stealing that chocolate bar. Steal a chocolate bar, prostitute. Get caught uh, renting a prostitute, prostitute. Damaged property, prostitute. If you don't want to be forced into whoring, then you better obey the law. Also, as a side note, I'm going to be legalizing prostitution. So your whore relatives can finally get back to work. Next, let's talk about transportation. Anyone who lives in the city knows traffic during rush hour is a very difficult thing to deal with. Now, can you get out of your car and just murder the other person and then steal their car like in Grand Theft Auto? Yes, absolutely, and I will legalize that. Uh, but again, unless you want to be put into prostitution, I suggest you don't do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to be building actual giant transformers, like from those movies, okay? 
and we're going to charge you a premium to use the transformers. You're, so we're going to ban cars. You have to take a transformer, but you're responsible for ensuring you get out of the transformer before it transforms back into a robot or else you will be crushed in the transforming process and your family will be responsible for the cleanup bill. I don't know if you've seen The Walking Dead, but you know all those guts and stuff. If you've ever been inside of a transformer like I have, because as uh, someone who's running for mayor, we have access to special things like narco narcotics that make us think our vehicles are actually transformers. It's very messy. Your, your guts will be all over the ground, so make sure the transformer has transformed um, once you're out of the vehicle or you will be crushed. Now let's talk a bit about healthcare. Everyone's concerned about their well-being, or at least they pretend to be. So here's how it works with my plan for healthcare. If you break it, you fix it. Now you'd be surprised how reliable some duct tape and a wooden stick can be for a broken a broken limb, okay? You use a two by four, can also be used as a weapon, but I don't suggest that unless you want to get into prostitution like we talked about. So once again, what we'll be doing is we'll be doubling the wait times in the hospitals. People have said, Michael Ferber, I hate having to wait two hours in the hospital just to get a, a, a female a nurse to stick her finger in my butthole. Uh, even though I didn't need it, I just wanted a, a female to stick her finger in my butthole. But what we're going to do is double the wait times in hospitals to discourage people from going to the hospitals. So what that's going to do, it's going to it's going to stop people from having to wait in the hospital rooms for trivial things like a like a, a lacerated spleen or a decapitated head, which you should be able to take care of at, at home with a shovel and a priest. So once again, healthcare should only be accessed by people like myself or rich people or people who bribe me. So as you see, I have a strong plan for healthcare as well. Now, some people have said, well, these are great ideas, Michael Ferberger, and most likely will not get you in trouble with the law, but tell me more about why I should vote for you. Why do you want to be mayor? Well, let's talk about some of these ideas. I need money for my own personal needs. I want to change minds. I want to brainwash the public. I want to get unlimited power to use for my own personal use. I want to improve rights for inflatable dolls. No longer will you have to take an inflatable doll to the restaurant deflate it in your pocket and then pull her out and inflate her. Inflatable dolls will be able to roam free unless there's a windstorm. If there's a windstorm, hold on to them or they will go flying away like, like a kite. Just tie a rope around your inflatable spouse's neck so she doesn't go flying in the windstorm. Also, this is big. I'm going to be legalizing anything that has to do with anything that can be smoked. Okay, so you want to smoke something, you can count on this guy to legalize it for you, especially smoked turkey and smoked salmon. Also, you know, some people have said, you know, there's a lot of garbage laying around the streets. Why can't we clean the city up? I want to clean the city up. I want to make the city more beautiful and an accessible place where families can enjoy themselves any day, any time, except for 3 a.m. when the crack whores roam the streets. Please stay away from the city between 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. Hide in a garbage can if you're stuck. If you're stuck there, jump in a dumpster if you have to, unless you're a crack whore. If you are already a crack whore, then welcome to Toronto. It is your home. Also, I want to replace bitcoins with Canadian Tire money. We will be making our money to electronic Canadian Tire money. And also, I want to replace food stamps with edible food stamps. So what you do is you actually eat the stamp and it's flavored like whatever food you wanted, but less money for us because we're just making you eat paper. What's next on the agenda? Oh yes, folks, a lot of you have, have said to me, I walk around the city in the summertime and there's some hairy, smelly people walking around. Well, let me tell you folks, we're gonna be enforcing something I call the anti-Chewbacca law, where all men above the age of 40 will be forced to get full body waxes. So this will be especially useful in the summertime, like mentioned, and those who refuse to get the full body wax will be forced to wear those little car fr car freshener trees around their neck because because you smell you're hairy and you smell or you'll be hosed hosed down like you forgot to rub the lotion on the skin 
Also, I'm going to be the first ever digital mayor because I don't want to have to deal with your shit for obvious reasons. So I'll upload all of my thoughts from this brain into a custom designed artificial intelligence system so that I don't have to deal with you fuckers. And this will give me more time to create great ideas to improve the city from the comfort of my uh, of, of my champagne room in my very own strip club, which will be uh, custom built made out of gold walls uh, featuring my wife, Clay Media, who was previously a stripper before she was uh, upgraded in her skill set. She went back to school and learned how to be a prostitute. So those are just so, some of my ideas. Now, one last thing uh, for those of us who are from the South, which I am not, so I don't know why I said it like that. But we have our, our neighbors to the south in the in the great U.S. of A. who have a government shutdown. And that should never have happened. So as Toronto's next mayor, I will ban shutting down the government at any times for any reason. Even if nukes are inbound, they will be required to stay at their desk and do math and stuff. The boring stuff while I do the, the medical illegal things. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, uh, ensure that well, I ban the government shutdown so that the residents don't have to wait because this is what happens when the government shuts down you have to wait until the government opens up again for you to get your your checks. Okay so anyone watching this half of you I know you're on welfare. Uh, we're gonna stop the government from shutting down so you can still get your welfare checks and all essential services like door-to-door -door illegal narcotic sales will be forced as an, uh, an essential service. So I'm glad I could share that with you all. A little bit of a cup, uh, a beverage from the mayoral mug. Now, some people have said, hey, Michael Ferberger, you're intelligent, attractive, and spent a lot of time portraying this thing. Well, I think you're lying. I think you're not actually running for mayor. Oh yeah, mom and dad? Well, why would I have spent money on this picture of myself or on this picture of myself of a mug or this picture of Michael Ferberger's face on my face. 